Sudbury sellers might lose millions of dollars by waiting till spring 2023 to sell their home. You may be asking me, why do you think that, Tristan? And let me tell you, it is because in spring, historically, it was better to list because that's when all the buyers would come out of hibernation and start to buy houses. Now things are changing in today's market. So I'm Tristan Ritchie from Lake City Realty. I make videos on educational content on real estate. I'm keeping you up to date, giving you the professional opinion of a realtor that's out there doing the business all day with buyers and sellers. And I'm trying to educate you to be as understanding as possible to be a good buyer or seller. So if you have any questions, all I ask is a like, a comment, and a subscribe if you like my content and if this is helping you in any way. So why could this cost Sudbury sellers millions of dollars? And it is because right now there is a lack of inventory. Prices are slightly going up, so sellers are maybe getting a little bit more than they normally should. Because but you probably know someone out there that's saying, I'm going to wait till spring to list my house. And historically, I would have been the first one to tell you, that is a great idea. Don't list right now. It's getting cold. There's less buyers. You're going to have less action. And you're probably going to get a lower price than if you wait till spring. Forever, that was what you told people. But now things have shifted. In the spring, you probably know someone that said, hey, I'm going to wait till spring. There's a lot of those sellers out there. So in spring, we're gonna get an influx of a bunch of new listings that are gonna come out and then there's gonna be less scarcity, which is what is happening right now. We're at an all time low of listings. Sudbury has around 250 active listings, which is extremely low. And there's actually still quite a bit of buyers out there. They're being more picky, which is totally understandable. And that's what I would do if I was in their position. Because they're being more picky, there's still a lot of them still shopping. They didn't really stop. Because there has been so little inventory for so long, buyers are just always in buying mode, just less aggressive. So right now, the absolute scarcity of listings, the 250, is not enough to sustain the amount of buyers out there. So things are selling for a little bit more than they should, or than they might if there was more listings. In the spring of 2023, we're going to see a ton of new listings, an influx of them. So the buyers that are out there that probably didn't buy during this time, or some of them might have, but there's gonna be a lot left over in spring, they're gonna have way more to choose from. The interest rates are gonna be a little bit higher, so they are likely going to be uh, even more picky and be more willing to look over a house because they're like, oh, another one's gonna come next week. And there will be because the market is gonna have so many more new listings. So. In my opinion, if you're a seller, if you're a seller right now, before the snow is a great time to list. Even if there is snow, there's going to be less inventory. So you have less competition. Again, this is just my opinion, my professional opinion. If I was selling my house, that's what I would do. But I would say at least get it ready. So if, if things change, then you can be quick to make a decision. So that is my opinion. That's how some sellers could be losing millions of dollars, not a million each house, of course, but in general. With the amount of houses that sell, I think the price is gonna drop just a little bit. It might just be a dip, but it'll be a good time for buyers and sellers not so much at that point. If you have any questions or if this helped you at all, again, like, subscribe, it truly helps getting my channel off the ground and trying to provide as much information as possible. If you have any questions or you wanna work with me or my team, buying or selling, we're the experts in the field. If you need some help, please feel free to reach out at any time, text, call, whatever, it works. I just wanna help you. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out at any time.